For better and for worse, Blackwind takes us back to our younger days of watching Saturday cartoons and of playing classic top-down action games. We don't think it was necessarily going for the total endearing, nostalgia, I feel like I'm 12 again vibes, but if anything, Blackwind feels more like a blast from the past than a glimpse into the future. So join us here at Game 8 Information Station as we blow Medusa 42 into smithereens and kick alien butt. Okay, so the game has you playing as this kid named Jimmy. Well, you're not exactly playing as him, but rather the battle frame that he's stuck in. Not Jimmy. The plot starts off fairly simply with Jimmy Hawkins and his father's spaceship getting attacked by some unknown assailants. Jimmy ends up crash landing on the planet Medusa 42 while stuck in some AI powered mech battlesuit. So it begins a familiar journey of the kid looking for his father and answers to what is really happening by mostly blasting his way through anything that gets in his path. Oh my god! What are those things? Jimmy doesn't seem all that cool. He feels like your run of the mill Saturday cartoon protagonist without the endearing charisma. This should be the environment where scientists and researchers live. Well, live is not the word I'd choose. But he does the job as a relatable vessel for the players and makes for a logical connection to the gameplay. At the end of the day, it's really the Mark II battle frame Blackwind that makes it all interesting and worthwhile. I find your human ability to invent names quite interesting. Blackwind is a top-down action game, and you pretty much can do what you expect from a battle suit. Dashing around, laser swords, hand blasters, and even missiles are part of your basic repertoire of abilities. The Mark II can be upgraded at certain points and does offer a sense of progression. There's also a double jump that leads to awkward platforming. Like, some very awkward platforming. Ah, <sighs> yep. Janky platforming definitely reminds us of the old days. Game also provides some really cool executions that are kind of reminiscent of classic God of War games. But they do start to get very repetitive and we're not just talking about the animations. It hadn't even been two hours and we're already sick of Jimmy Boy saying Never mess with a Hawkins! For the 69th time! We love top-down games and believe that this classic genre has still a lot of surprises in store for us, even in this day and age. Except, we couldn't see any of that in Black Wind. The early level designs seem kind of bland and cliche, but the environment textures do look good enough for a game of this stature and the lighting is decent. Indoor facilities play with their usual, look for the keycard, press the button to open the door on the other side of the room shenanigans, and there are apparent awkward camera angles that could have been done better in open areas. We know they can do better because it's apparent in how the cameras pan satisfyingly in certain scenes. The voice acting is also a very big miss. It's really bland and it sounds like the actors are just reading off a script. Private Jackson, 3rd Precinct, at your service, sir. We thought no one answered our call. And the volume of it can get really inconsistent too. Dad, can you hear me? This is General Wenger of the United Colonies Elite Force. Who is this? Identify yourself! Like, sir, why are you so loud? The talking battle frame also doesn't help with its voice as it constantly repeats its lines every time something happens. I'm saying, Enemy is nearby, detected. Enemy is nearby, detected. Enemy is nearby, detected. To every enemy encounter. Just stating the obvious, like, This door is locked. It needs a passcode. It is a ventilation system. I think we know it's a ventilation shaft. It looks like a ventilation duct. You've told us this more than a few times already. All in all, Blackwind doesn't really make a striking impression to us. There is a lack of polish in certain areas and offers nothing innovative or distinct to make it stand out. It has all the right assets to be a unique indie game but it chooses to be very conservative with its game design philosophies. What do you guys think about Blackwind? 
Any hardcore top-down shooters you want us to try out? Let us know in the comments below. Till then, this is Game 8 Information Station, signing off.